Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses! In the last episode, we completed the Lancastrian storyline. And now, we found out that pretty much Yugi is a credit hogger and loves rubbing it in. He's a victory dancer. He's a twat. So, let's, um, let's, uh, change the annals of history this time instead of going the actual way. Why? Because I want a badass looking set of armor from Seto. So, if you press continue when you've completed one of the storylines, you are back here. And pretty much, you will be offered the choice again. Uh, but this time, we're going to pick the White Rose. So, in fact, you can't actually play as the Red Rose side because you've already played them. So, no, I want to play as the Lancastrians again. I want to get pretty much just like bitched over by Yugi. Or not. Let's side with the Yorkists. Yeah. A wise choice, duelist. I see you are well versed in judging a situation. Welcome to the Rose Crusaders. I am honored. Okay, old man. It's time you made yourself scarce. What? What are you doing? Stop! No! Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need you out of the way till everything is settled. Now let's talk about the Red Rose cards. Simon mentioned that he spread the cards among certain individuals just after summoning you. I think it's safe to assume that a large number of those individuals are his confederates currently located in France. I would like to ask you to enter France from Dover and retrieve those cards for our cause. I would go myself, however. I'm needed here to maintain our barrier against any invading forces. According to the legend, one must use a deck whose cost is lower than the opponent's to capture the rose card of another colour. Remember, a deck that costs lower than that of the opponent is the key. I've also heard that the Celts inherited their red rose cards from the original inhabitants of Stonehenge. This would mean that our enemy, Yugi, who comes from a line of Welsh nobility, would likely have inherited one of the red rose cards. This means that those who oppose the Rose Crusaders are sufficiently equipped to duel against us as equals. Oh, I don't think so. I am awesome. Ha. <laughs> Given their desperate situation, they will retaliate with everything they've got. It would be wise not to underestimate them. I'm depending on you. Alright! So, we've picked the Yorkist side. So once again we start from Stonehenge, but now we're going to different places. Uh, now, we are going from England, we're going to face Taya, we're going to go from England to Dover, about here. <coughs> Victory sneeze. Anyway, that's been brewing probably since the part started. Anyway, so, we'll be going to Dover and then coming all the way over here. We know Yugi's in Brest over here, so we've got a bit of a way to go, but we'll be alright. Okay, so Taya's deck cost is 933. We need to sort out our deck for that. We also want to add in Megamorph as well. There's Megamorph. So it's a 15 deck cost. Increase the power of every monster by 300 points. Not sure if that means every monster on the field or just with an equip. So actually it's not as good as I thought. Curse of the Trihorn Dragon. What do we need? Uh, oh. Offer Curse of Dragon, Feral Imp, and a Kimori Dragon. No, that's crap as well. Okay. Well, forget that. We're definitely going to keep Mucus Yoke in there, because Mucus Yoke is awesome. So, what do we not need? Well, first, we can put a few snake... We can put a few traps in there, can't we? We can put a few uh, fake traps. What don't we need? Machine King, I don't really have a use for at the moment. These slot machines and Skullbird. Pump King will keep Pump King in. Ooh, but we will get rid of Meteor Dragon and Monster Tamer. And we'll get rid of the Faceless Mage. Okay, so at the start of the game, obviously, these... Or at the start of this story, they haven't, like, gained anything in power, so they're still quite weak. So we'll put three of these in. We'll put a Negate Attack in as well. And you know, we'll put Megamorph in. Why not? I mean, it's a bit of an upgrade, I guess, isn't it? All right, 901. Oh, no, wait. No, no, we're not, we're not ready yet. Okay. We could add in two big monsters if we want to. What would we like? Let's have a look at this. 
Just having a look and seeing what we could use. Oh, La Jin. We'll put La Jin in, definitely, yeah. And we will put in a... Ooh, Rogue Doll. Okay, let's put Rogue Doll in as well. 960 deck cost. I'm just, I think that's enough to battle Taya. I think she may be at like 961 or something like that. Something along those lines, at least. Are you... Less than 960? You are. Damn it. I, can't, I, I should really start remembering this. Bloody hell. Anyway, so 9.33. We need to make a little bit of extra stuff to put in. Look at our strongest cards. What do we not need? We'll need the Pump Kings, just in case. Oh, let's give it a Rogue Doll. If we had, like, a really crap card, we could add that in. Curse Breaker. Or 7 Complete, or a Fake Trap or something. What is it? Uh, let's put Curse Breaker in. Why not? Curse Breaker, you're in the deck. 9.30 deck cost. That should be more than enough. Because she's 9.33. So, we finally get a chance to battle Taya. Great. Taya's not that tough, luckily, and neither's... We'll get, like, a difficulty spike somewhere around here. But for the moment, it's Taya. Let's go. The Rose Duelist. You dared to betray the hopes of Prince Yugi? I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. I highly doubt that, Taya. I really doubt that. But we'll see. Alright. So we get different battle music for doing this. For going against the Lancastrians. There's our deck leader, obviously. The Patrician of Darkness. Her deck leader is Dancing Elf, I believe. Yeah. So it's uh, not very good. This field is not very good either. It's mostly normal fields. But you do have a few mountain fields if you want to use them. La Jin is a nice start. So we're going to get La Jin and we're going to move straight towards her. Taya's deck is not that tough. But she does have the ability to summon strong monsters. Just not many of them and not very frequently. So I'm just going to move... I'm going to move my deck leader close to them as well. I don't care. Fiend's Hand will take that out. Whatever it is, it'll take that out. So, yeah, looking good so far. And that's a fusion. Okay, so that could be a strong monster. That could be like some, like, 2,000 attack monster. It could be. Doesn't mean it will. Ah, rain temperature. Okay, so that card kind of sucks. There you go. It's, well, I'm dead. And you're spellbound. And you're also dead. See you, rain temperature. Nice knowing you. Alrighty. So what are you going to do now? You're going to move that forward. I'm going to move Le Jin right next to your deck leader. Let's see what you do with that. And I'm going to move a card over here. Ooh, there's my Pump King. I'm going to get Witty Phantom. Put him down and move him over here. Nice. Alright. See what you're going to do. To you're going to stay there. Interesting plan. Oh, you're going to attack. And it's a, just a Mystical Elf. Just a Mystical Elf. It does get a power increase, but not enough to beat Le Jin. And I don't get Spellbound either. Brilliant. And you moved your guy. Oh, Creature Swap. Uh-oh. That could be a problem. Ah, okay. So, that's a problem. Creature Swap, what it does is it moves your creatures to different parts of the location. Which sucks, really. Pretty much jumbles up the entire board. Alright. I'm going to play a Shadow Spell down on this turn. Because I'm hoping you you attack it. You want to stay there. Is that a good idea? I don't think so. And Shadow Spell activate. Oh, Doma the Angel of Silence from the look of it. It is Doma. Well, you lose like you lose attack points now. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You're also spellbound for three turns, so I can kill you off at my leisure. And I'm definitely going to do that with La Jin. Alright, so that is... 1,200. I have two Pump Kings now, which is great. Uh, Pump King, you might as well go forward and attack directly. So, uh, 1,300, obviously, zombie monsters have a bit of a disadvantage on the mountain field, which sucks, but never mind. Now you're going to move away. Took you bloody long enough to move. Problem with that. 
You're dead. I think you're dead. No, you're not dead. You're not dead yet. Okay. Okay, you live. But I will destroy this with Lejin. Aha! More damage. Right. Okay, so. You have enough life points to live just. But I will flip up my blue eye silver zombie. And attack! And now they're all zombie types. Which means whenever I switch Pump King into defense mode, they all gain 100 attack points per turn. Which is very good. I'm going to switch Pump King into defense mode now. Everyone's going to get a power boost now. Brilliant. Right, so, uh, 400 life points left, Taya. That's not much. And I believe I've won this, yeah. So that's a power increase, and now everyone's getting attacked. Even Le Jin, which is now a zombie. I believe it's game over for you. Mammoth Graveyard, so happy to see you, buddy. Mammoth Graveyard, attack. Game over. All right, so Taya is easy. To be honest, did not put up much of a fight at all. What card would I want from a graveyard slot? Probably nothing. But, uh, never mind. Victory to the Patrician of Darkness. Yeah, victory. All right, so what is in her graveyard we can nab? What do we want to nab? Nothing. I may take Mystical Elf, though. There's one Mystical Elf. Damn it. That's a fake trap. Screw it. And Dancing Elf. All right. Crap, crap, and crap. Actually, Mystical Elf isn't bad. It's a, it's a decent defense card, so... I'll take that, but yeah, I was kind of looking for three Mystical Elves. If I got that, that'd have been awesome. I wonder what I've got with that. I think I might have been able to get a chance of getting Blue Eyes White Dragon with that. I guess I lost. It pains me to know that I lack the strength to protect my lord and love. Give me your Rose card! Well, maybe I wouldn't be after your lord and love if he actually decided to put me in history. You know, actually told the truth. You know, truth telling. Alright, next up is T. Tristan Gray. Yes. Tristan actually wasn't in Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories, so yeah. Yu -Gi -Oh! uh, uh, Tristan wasn't in Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories. But he is in this game! They've added Tristan to the game! I'm so happy they've added Tristan to the game. Alright, let's get rid of all these crap cards. And you. And we can add strong monsters! Machine King, Slot Machine, Skullbird, Meteor Dragon. 1106. Is that enough to take on Tristan? I sure bloody hope so. Luckily, uh, Tristan's not too tough either. Is it enough? Yes. Alright, I've got to get my Tristan voice in. Good god. <coughs> I love you, you love me. Yeah, I think I got it, okay. Hold it! You're the one they call the duelist, right? If you want to go any further, you'll have to face me and my crab walker strategy. Birdie! Alright, uh, so Tristan, he has a crab walker strategy. More like a crab walker strategy, but never mind. <laughs> Tristan's not that tough either. His field is a mess, but I have seen worse. Pretty much, it's... It's just this, really. So, yeah. Each... There's, there's loads of fields uh, which you can use and upgrade. Uh, it's called the Crab Walker Strategy because... Oh, wait. There's my mucus yoke. So, it's called the Crab Walker Strategy for one reason. The reason being is, obviously, it's all in horizontal lines. You, where you get your power bonuses. So, you have to move sideways like a crab. So, that's why it's called the Crab Walker. Mucus Yoke, get over here, deal more damage! God, I love Mucus Yoke. Such a fun card. Alright, Fiend's Hand. I'm placing you in defense for the moment. I'm going to take out his initial onslaught card. His deck leader, I believe, is Cabal the Warrior. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, he's going for Mucus Yoke. Get away from Mucus Yoke! Get away from my Yoke, you bastard! Ah, uh, I'm gonna get my Paralyzing Potion down, definitely, yeah. Alright, what are you gonna play? And Mucus Yoke! More damage! That's 150 life points he's already lost thanks to my Mucus Yoke. Anyway, so... Who's he? Oh, he's gonna stay there. He's staying there. Mucus Yoke! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love Mucus Yoke. 
All right, Fiend's Hand move over there because it's now time to summon Meteor Dragon, I think. Meteor Dragon, attack that thing. Pale Beast, not as, yep, pales in comparison to what it looks like on his sprite animation, a ball with wings. Ball with wings as one. Let's paralyze this thing. Now you're paralyzed! So, Paralyzing Potion, I believe that was a Magic and Trap card. But pretty much now it's paralyzed, so ha 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 to you, Tristan. So now it's infinitely spellbound. Cannot be used unless he frees it with something like a Dragon Piper, which I don't think he has. Let's carry on, shall we? What is next? Well, next is a Mammoth Graveyard with 2,200 attack points. Oh, or not. Does it count as a dinosaur or something? I don't know. Anyway, I'll put Dark Energy in defense. Why not? All right. Meteor Dragon, move forward. Fiend's Hand, move forward. And Mucus Yoke, keep doing your thing. Yeah. More damage. Chip damage. Dot damage. J basic, just damage, damage. Damage, damage. Yeah, that's what it is. Damage, damage. All right. Dark Energy, you can get rid of that, I think. Did you get rid of it? Yes, you did. Well done, Dark Energy. Right, we're just going to move straight past you. I'm going to put Fiend's Hand in defense mode. All right. Let's get... Ooh, an invisible wire. Let, let's move that in, shall we? And... Mucus Yoke! Yeah! More damage! Eat your berry! All right. Bring it, Tristan. You got nothing on me. What are you going to do? You're going to attack it? It's a Yurabi. Well... Oh no, I've died. Well, it's a fiend's hand, so he'll die too. See you, Arby. Nice knowing you. That was like the first good card I got in Forbidden Memories. Kind of sad to see one go. Never mind. Maybe we can get a Yurabi for old time's sake, possibly. We'll see. Oh, it didn't get rid of it. Bastard. Alright. Meteor Dragon. Get forward. Oh, Deep Sea Shark. That's not good. Well, Mido Dragon, nice knowing you as well. Damn it. Alright, okay. Well, we'll go back to the thing that always works. Mucus Yoke! Yeah, damage! Uh, invisible Wire, I'm going to move you over here. I'm going to summon something over here. What am I going to summon? Machine King. Definitely Machine King. Machine King, attack! Imagine Gun. Well, here's my power increase. And here's your death. At the hands of the Machine King! Yeah. 2300 attack. Let's see your shark beat that. I don't think it's will. Right, so that is a monster over there. Since it destroyed my paralyzing potion, that is a, well, that dark energy. It's a monster. That is good to know. First up, you can choke. Yay, damage. All right, so what can I summon? Skullbird, I could. Well, I'm going to play shadow spell for the moment. Going to destroy this thing. Dark Prisoner. Now, ah, another easy card. There you go, you're dead. Nice. Dark Prisoner's got even less attack at this point, but never mind. Right, invisible Wire, make your move. We could corner the guy here, if we're lucky. Nope, nope, not yet. You're going to move away, because you is wuss territory. It's fine by me. I'm just going to move Machine King over here. I'm going to move Invisible Wire over here. And Shadow Spell. Maybe I can corner him here. I can box him in with any chance. Oh, another Fiend's Hand. Definitely going to be moving that over here. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What you going to do, buddy? You're going to move again. Place a card down. You're going to move as well because you wuss territory. All right, nice. So that's Invisible Wire. So if this is a, if this was a magical trap card, I could kill it right now, but it's probably not. Shadow spell is going to come over here. Right, I think dragon zombie. Ooh, if I can attack that. Oh no, wait. I'll need to flip it up. Okay, get rid of this then. Monster egg. Nothing strong at all. See ya, monster egg. Nice knowing you. All right, so we have nearly trapped him. He can only move upwards now. And we have a shadow spell. We have a lot of other stuff. Oh, I forgot to use my yoke. Aha! Meet my shadow spell. Damage for you. What's that? This is 
Oh, it's a rude Kaiser. All right. Well, he was able to get out of that one, but let's see how long it, how long he does stay out of that one. Deep Sea Shark is now weakened. And so is Rude Kaiser, for that matter. Holy crap. Alright, well. Dragon Zombie, move up here. Invisible Wire, move onwards. Could probably kill Rude Kaiser here. Oh, Pump King. Perfect. Pump King, attack Rude Kaiser. For damage. More damage to you, good sir. Alright, I think we've got him next turn. Because Pump King can move twice, so... 300 life points, that's not going to last you very long. Even if I was to play Mucus Yoke. Hooray. Mucus Yoke. Oh, you're definitely dead now. Unless you can actually kill my... Are you trying to attack Mucus Yoke? How dare you? How dare you? Pump King. Show him why you shouldn't attack Mucus Yoke. You tried to attack Mucus Yoke. Mucus Yoke's turned into one of my favorite cards in this game. It's the first time I've actually used Mucus Yoke. Didn't even know it existed until now. Anyway, we win! Hooray! Victory for us. What do we want? In his graveyard slot. Probably nothing. Yeah, I was right, nothing. I'll probably try and take Rude Kaiser. Oh, wait, there's three matching guns. Oh, no, there isn't. I thought there was. Okay. What do we want here? Damn it. Well, we got Pale Beast, we got Fake Trap, and a Magic Gun. Crap! Utter garbage. None of those cards are going to get a slot in our deck. Maybe Pale Beast, if he's lucky. But no, we beat Tristan. Hooray. I don't believe it. You beat the crab out of me. <laughs> you beat the crab out of me. Yeah, I beat the crap out of you. Crab, 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 crab. Get it? Ha 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 ha. Alright guys, well I'm going to go for a break here, uh, as the next opponent is loading up, which I believe is my, or Margaret Buffett, there she is, with a 1003 deck cost. So in the next episode, let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses, we take on my. I'll see you then. Bodie!